Hello friends and welcome to Review Maza and another episode of Review Maza. Today we are going to open a booster pump and we'll see what exactly there is inside it. So let's get started. So just open this quickly. This pump is of Filmex company. It's a very good company for pumps. Filmex. There are some other companies also which are very good at manufacturing pumps. Okay friends, this is the pump head assembly. This is like this over here. And this is the main pump that pumps the this is the main pump gasket which pumps the water I hope I can get it out okay okay friends this is the assembly this fits right over here Just a minute, uh, give me one minute, I'll give supply to this thing and show you how it works after giving supply, what exactly happens when this thing is powered on. Okay friends, so I've given the power supply and I'm starting the pump. So as you can see, this, this plate, entire plate is getting vibrated very slightly so what is happening over here this plate is continuously vibrated and because of that uh, suction is created from the pump head over like this when this fits over here so it continuously sorry a cable got disconnected freak did you see, see that sorry please don't try this at home I am totally grounded so I am doing this please never try this at home so when this vibration happens, the pump actually pushes the water from the inlet side towards the outlet side. This pump is a 50 GPD pump. This is how it works, friends. So let's get back. Okay friends, so I'll try to open this if uh, possible. I'll try to open it more. Let's work out more to know more about how the pump, pump functions. Okay, we have three screws over here. So I'll try to open them up for you. We'll see how far can we open this pump. Is there any repairable things possible? 
yes friends it's possible you can replace the head assembly if it's not pumping properly or if leakages are there happening you can replace this entire head assembly and it is available for the brands like filmtech and other companies bnqs is another upcoming pump company okay so here we are friends and as you can see there is a gasket uh, uh, sorry a bearing over this what happens is i'll show you again i'll give supply and we'll see again what happens okay friends ready so this is what happens when you you supply to it but because of that head this Uh, this is not rotating because of the head on it this thing is not rotating but it is uh, giving a slight torque motion vibration and that is causing the pump to function behind this this is a motor simple motor of 24 volts and this motor uh, is not directly linked with that vibrating mechanism it is just linked with the gasket over here the sorry gasket not uh, it's the bearing over here so that is allowing it to rotate but this pump is not fun functioning properly because it's not rotating it with enough force maybe the winding copper winding might have one bad okay friends and i'll stop it uh if you want me to open this i'll do that also for you so let's try to open it from here Open up. Come on. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we found the reason because the copper winding has. Uh, I think it has. It has burned. So that's why it's not functioning properly. So actually. Yeah. As you can see there is a slight play you can see it that causes the vibration that causes the pumping action to happen and uh, because i think this part this leads which cause the contacts have gone bad that's why the pump was not functioning properly uh, you can replace them if you can find them here it is it is friends here it's having a magnet inside that causes the pump to function and this is the simple circuit board that powers it this is pump is good because it is made up of copper winding it's very good because 
Now I've seen many pumps made up of aluminium winding that cause more power consumption. That's it friends. If you like my video, please uh, like, please share, please subscribe and please, please uh, like my videos because I try to bring new, new possible uh, videos in water purifiers and other technologies so I can I can reach many people so if you subscribe me more I can give you more videos every time I don't think it is possible for me to open this because it won't come out unless I damage it and there is nothing left if you it's possible to replace the gasket sorry the bearings if you can possibly remove this but it's difficult okay friends thank you very much